Kenny, and today I am making garlic parmesan wings. These are fantastic. They're perfect for if you're having a party, if you're having a Super Bowl party on Sunday, or any get together you're having, or just on a weeknight when you want to do something different and fun. Very easy to make. I'm going to be baking these, so they're not going to be deep fried like you get at the restaurant. We're not going to have all that grease and fat in there. I'm not going to be coating them with a lot of butter like a lot of the hot wings you're going to get at restaurants. So they're pretty, they're pretty light, but they are so delicious. They've got a ton of flavor and very, very easy to make. So what I'm starting out with is two pounds of wings. This recipe will feed about three to four appetizer servings. So if you're going to have more than that, you might want to double or even triple this recipe. Very easy to do. What I'm going to start with is I've got my wings in this bowl. I'm actually using the wingettes. I just like the, the smaller wingettes better than using the full wing. I'm going to put in well, actually just one tablespoon, sorry. One tablespoon of canola oil. And I'm using canola oil because I'm gonna have the, the oven at 425, it's gonna be really hot. And if I use extra virgin olive oil, it could burn. So the canola oil just is able to withstand a higher heat. I'm also going to put in here one teaspoon of oregano. And what I'm doing right now is basically just getting a lot of flavor into the skin of these wings while they bake and I'm going to toss them in a delicious garlic and parmesan mixture once they've cooked and then we'll put them back in the oven for a little bit longer. I'm also adding just a little bit of hot pepper flakes, red pepper flakes. You don't have to add this if you don't want any heat in yours, but I like a little spice in my wings and so I'm going to do it with that the red pepper flakes. Now of course you're going to have to have salt in this. I'm going to add a half teaspoon, lost a little there, of salt. I'm also going to add a half teaspoon of pepper. I like the coarse ground pepper, it's got a lot of flavor. And then a half teaspoon also of some garlic powder. It's going to have some garlic in our garlic parmesan wings. And we're going to have fresh garlic when we toss it all together, but we're just using the dried for the cooking part of this to coat. Okay, get in there with your hands. I always say that is just the easiest way sometimes to do things in the kitchen is just using your hands. They are a fantastic tool. Basically, you just wanna make sure the wings are all nice and coated in those yummy spices. I can smell those spices already. These are gonna be full of flavor. You could really experiment with this recipe um, and just put flavors in there that you like or you wanna try out. Now, get this over here, my chicken hands. What I have here is a sheet tray that I have put a baking rack over. So what I'm gonna do is just spray this with some non-stick spray so we don't want our wings to stick. And then I'm gonna put these out here right onto the baking sheet or the, I'm sorry, the baking tray or cooling rack. Okay, and you just wanna get them spread out um, that'll keep them, if you keep them spread out, it'll keep them really crispy. Okay, so like I said, my oven is on 425. I'm gonna put these in for about 25 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make the coating that we're gonna toss the cooked wings in. Yum. All right, y'all, so while my wings are baking, I'm just going to go ahead and put together the garlic parmesan mixture that we're gonna to toss those wings in. So I've just got two cloves of garlic that I have minced up here. I'm just going to get those right in. That fresh garlic is really going to give the wings a ton of flavor. Now I'm going to get my basil, and don't pay attention to my brown basil, okay? Don't judge me. It's still pretty fresh. I did have some fresh here that I've already got in a bowl that's chopped up, but this is just a little extra that I had in my grocery store without of basil, so I was stuck with my almost brown basil, but it still smells good. It's still got flavor. I'm going to go ahead get this in my bowl along with the other basil that I've got chopped up and it's two tablespoons of fresh basil you do want to use fresh basil for this it's really going to give you that nice fresh basil flavor it's just a, a whole different flavor than using you know the, the dried kind okay now parmesan cheese very important typically I always buy the block of parmesan and grate my own but for this recipe you actually want to use the finely grated cheese. So I just buy it like this. Make sure you do get a good brand of it. You know, you want to look at the ingredients and see that it says Parmesan cheese and that's going to be pretty much all that's in it because that's what you want is Parmesan cheese. So just look at the ingredient label. I'm doing a half cup, about a half cup into our mixture. 
And then the last thing I want to do is just get a little bit of lemon zest, which might sound a little funny. Uh, you're just going to get a nice brightness from it. Getting about a half teaspoon, not too much, of the lemon zest. Typically you want to zest your lemon when it's whole, but all I had was this half lemon, so it's a little easier to do when you have the whole lemon. All right, so mix that up. <sighs> it smells so good. This is going to be delicious tossing it in those wings and then we're going to bake it for a little while longer. I'll show you what it all looks like here in a few. Well, my wings have come out of the oven and I'm just going to tell you, when you take them out of the oven, they're going to be sizzling and popping and it's going to be hot and smoky in there, but that's what's going to help give them this nice crispy skin that you really want for wings. So now what I'm going to do is while they're still hot, as soon as you get them out, you're just going to put them in your Parmesan garlic mixture. And I'm just going to do a few at a time here, but basically what you're going to do is just toss them around in this mixture, okay? You just want to get them. That's why I kind of like to do them a few at a time so I can make sure they all get really nice and coated. And then once you get that done, you're just going to put them right back on this baking sheet, okay? Just like this. And then you're going to leave your oven on at 425 when you're doing this. Just put them back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And what's going to happen is they're going to get even more crispy. This Parmesan cheese is going to just soak in and get crispy as well. It's just going to taste amazing. I can't wait. So I'm going to finish coating these, get them back in for 10 minutes, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Y'all, how good do these look? Oh my goodness. They are perfectly browned and crispy. I mean, I don't think you're going to miss these being fried at all, and they smell amazing. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're having a party and you're making these right before everybody gets there, they're going to walk in and be like, okay, it smells amazing in here. What did you make? And you can tell them April McKinney's garlic parmesan wings. <laughs> I hope you guys will try this one out. I know you're going to love it. And I hope you have a really fun Super Bowl party if you're having a party. If it's not Super Bowl anymore and you're watching this video way later, we'll just I hope you enjoy this recipe and you'll give it a try for another party. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my website, aprilmckinney.com, where you will find all of my recipes. And also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on